Hello and welcome to Warner Bros. World Abu Dhabi. Are you a Scooby-Doo fan like I am? If so, then you are in for a treat. This place is divided into six parks and designed in a circular pattern. If you love Justice League more, then start your tour from the left side. But if you love Flintstones more, then go right. And here we go. This is the first park of this plaza, the Bedrock. You will find souvenir shops in each park. Who else is getting a wave of nostalgia? I miss this series so much. Every park consists of theme-based restaurants and a ride. You will also be able to meet the characters for pictures. Isn't that exciting? This park has a cool river adventure. Come, let's see what actually it is. It was fun! I got so much involved in the ride that the video got blurry. <laughs> and this is the smallest park of this plaza. Moving to the next park, the Dynamite Gulch. Guess, who are you going to meet next? The Jetsons, Marwin and the Coyote. Well, this entire plaza is made keeping all the age groups in mind. This park has two rides for children and one for adults. The roller coaster which you just saw, fast and furious. We are moving towards our next park, the Cartoon Junction. And as the name suggests, it has a lot of cartoon stars and rides waiting for you. This is a Scooby-Doo Museum. Wow! Just can't wait to go inside. enjoyed it and I'm sure you also did. Oh, oh yay! See Scooby-Doo and Shaggy! It's picture time! These are a few theme-based food stalls where you can enjoy cotton candy, ice cream and some pies. Right here is the Tom and Jerry Swiss cheese spin. As we enter this house, we go through many rooms which clearly narrates the chase of Tom and Jerry. And if you have watched any of the episode, then you know what I mean. Look, who do we have here? It's Tweety and Sylvester. Another souvenir shop.
Kids can get cute tattoos made here. It's time to meet Bugs Bunny and Daffy. This is a theatrical show. We are now moving towards the Acme factory and kids are absolutely going to love this section. Apart from this section, we have another ride in this park which is called Annie Mayhem. It's a shooting game and let's go in. We are halfway through this plaza and now begins the park dedicated to Warner Bros superheroes. This park is called Gotham City. So now you know which superhero I'm talking about, right? Yes, it's Batman. So far you might be thinking that this park is only for younger audience, isn't it? Henceforth your opinion is going to change. This is Riddler's Revenue, one of the best rides of this plaza and adventurous. Unfortunately, it is under renovation. Oh, this is <laughs> a honey of genius doesn't come cheap, right? <laughs> now, talking about money, honey, where is mine? You ain't getting a dime out of me to make sure that the same don't I wish I could show you how this works. The Joker Fun House is a walkthrough full of fun mirrors and slides. And who doesn't love these games? Here comes my favorite ride. It, it is called Night Flight. It is based on augmented reality. You get logged in a seat. The seat goes in all direction at good speed and the entire chamber is full of screens. You actually fly. I'm so glad that I didn't miss it. This is the last section of the plaza before we reach the center back again. It is called Metropolis and it is dedicated to Justice League. In this park, you can enjoy a stage show by Justice League and three different 3D shows. One of them is inside Metropolis Observatory. Every 3D experience is different from the other. This is Teen Titans Training Academy where you can enjoy so many adventures like ziplining, net climbing and many more. In Hall of Justice, you sit in a cube and that cube takes you to various screens forming a story. Mortals on top of us. We need to deactivate its power core and send Mongol to the Phantom Zone. Go! Now! We're running! I see my black mercy plants haven't taken the bite out of everyone. Stay clear! Mongol and his troops are invading the city! We'll keep them busy. Stick to the plan, yeah. Cyborg! Oh. oh, it's Flash! Say hi! Warner Bros. Worlds offers multiple types of cuisines. It ensures that all kind of visitors get their favorite kind of cuisine. So, ASO Club is the Indian restaurant in this plaza. Battle for Metropolis is the third 3D experience in this park. 
Here you stand in a hall and watch heroes in a in a 360 degree stream saving their city. Hello Superman. These were all the parks in this world and now we are going back to center again. You can check out more pictures and know more about this amusement park through my article which is posted on my website. You must check it out. The center area has a lot of restaurants and souvenir shops. There is only one attraction there and it and instead of telling it I'm going to show you. Thank you for watching guys, don't forget to subscribe my channel, see you, bye bye.